What's going on everybody? Welcome back to my channel once again. So today we're gonna to be taking a look at the Catway investment casting machine, which is this right here. Now, I already took it out of the crate that it came in because it was awfully big and heavy, but as you can see, this is it right here. And yeah, I got it all taken out of the box, laid it out on the table, and this was everything that it came with. Now, I haven't used one of these before. Typically, I've used my own homemade setup. That seemed to work just fine, but we're gonna see if this will work a lot better and see if I get some better results out of this one. So as you can see, this was everything that it came with. It comes with this little instruction manual. It comes with a little decent pair of tongs. The perforated flask itself, which isn't real big, but for what I'm going to be testing out, this should work just fine. Here's all the gaskets that it comes with. It does come with three metal gaskets and then the adapter rubber ones that go on as well. And this is the largest one that I use. And here you can see the comparison on the size difference, the one that it comes with and the one that I, I like to use because this is a, a big one for when I'm doing some bigger pieces and it does actually accommodate this big size. So taking a look at this right off the bat, this does seem nicely constructed. You can see the pressure gauge right on the front. You do have the on off switch and the vacuum release if you wanna do the casting chamber or the investment table, depending on what you're using. Here you can see the investment table. It does have this thick rubber pad that you can remove if you need to clean it once you get plaster all over the place, which I most certainly will, so not a big deal. It is on springs. Over on the right-hand side, you can see how deep this actually goes, and here is where it does suck out all the air. Here on the backhand side, this panel is removable for when you need to change the oil or fill it with oil. This one doesn't actually come full with oil, so I did have to order some. It's on the way, so I will be filling this up once I get it. But here you can see the back. Here on the side, you can see the oil gauge. And as you can tell, I definitely need to add oil into this. And I don't know if you can tell, but right down here, there is a spot for the oil drain to empty it out when you do need to change it. Let's see if I can zoom in a little farther. There you go. Now you can see that opening for the hole for where it is. So all that's left now to do is try this out. So that's what I'm gonna do. I did go ahead and I printed out this little, you know, Mario Kart blue shell that chases after you if you're playing Mario Kart. And yeah, I thought it would be fun and it'll be small enough to fit in this flask. So I think we should be okay. But I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna get this all sprued up. We're gonna try out this machine, see how well it works and go from there. So I will be mixing the investment in one of these rubber silicone molds and I picked this up off of Amazon and I will put a link in the description. Now, the one thing that I like about this and that I don't like about this, as you can see, this is kind of the largest size mixing bowl that I'll be able to fit inside this bell jar. And I'll show you my other one that I was using. And this one is significantly bigger and there's no way that I'm fitting this inside of there and this is typically the one I use for my large flask so if I need to mix up a flask that's this big there's no way I'm going to be able to mix enough plaster inside this little bowl in order to fill this when here you can see the bowl itself is technically almost smaller than the flask so I won't really be able to use this system when I'm vacuuming a large flask like this, which isn't a huge deal, but keep that in mind that I would need a much larger bell jar when I wanna mix up a lot of plaster. But I'll go ahead, let's get this all sprued up. Let's pour the investment, let's pour the metal. Let's try this out.
All right, so there you have it. That was the first little test of using this machine. And overall, I think it worked great. I did remove some of the sprues. I haven't cleaned it up fully yet. As you can see, there's still some plaster in here and I'll need to grind down some of these print lines and everything. But overall, I think it did a really good job. So I'll go over some of the things that I really like about this machine and some things that I think could be just a little bit better. So first, I like that it comes with all the gaskets that you're going to need, even the metal ones if you're using non-perforated flasks. The one that it comes with is perforated and it fits right inside, but if yours isn't perforated, you can set it right on top and it'll still draw that vacuum in. I do like that it's just an on-off switch and an easy to use switch depending on whether you're using the investment table or the casting chamber, you can easily just switch it to the other one. I do like the rubber pad on the investment table side. It makes it very easy to remove to clean once you are done vacuuming your investment. I think the tongs that it came with work good. Are they the best tongs? No, but they work just fine in picking something up, whether you want to pick it up from the top or if you want to pick it up for easier handling underneath. As far as the investment table part goes, I do think it works really well. However, if you are using a flask that is much bigger, keep in mind that this dome won't fit over it. And you also, you won't be able to fit a bowl big enough to mix up the investment inside of this one. So you would need a bigger dome, which I might be able to pick one up to use but I'll have to look into that a little bit more as I'm not quite sure. So overall, I think this machine works great. It is sturdy, it's nicely built, it is solid metal, and it is awfully heavy, so you don't wanna be moving this around a lot, but it does work really well. It draws a great vacuum, I think. The buttons are very easy to use, it's just an on-off switch, and simple levers to turn it from the investment table to the casting chamber side. I did have to pick up a little bit of oil, which you can see in the background over there, but I picked that up off of Amazon for about 15 bucks, so not really that big of a deal. I will put a link though down in the description on where you can pick this up if you are looking for a casting machine like this. So go ahead and check down below on where you can pick this up. And also when I finish cleaning this up, I will be posting how this turns out on my Instagram and Twitter and everything else. So be sure to follow me on other social media if you haven't already, if you'd like to see how this turns out as the final piece. But that's gonna be it for this video, everybody. I hope you enjoyed it, and if you did, give it a thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button down below, ring the bell, get notified of all the new videos that come out. And as always, thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next one.